Hello folks, uh, today I'm going to be doing a, a video about replacing this high pressure fuel pump on my GMC Terrain. Uh, it has the 2.4 Equifax engine in it. Uh, the problems I've been having was uh, it throws a P0172 code, which was bank one too rich, too rich. It's sensing too much uh, fuel in the system. It has a uh, major other problem was uh, I smell fuel inside the oil when I'm doing oil changes. A uh, quick way to check that would be to pull the dipstick, smell it, it smells like fuel, then there's a clear sign that uh, you have this problem that I'm having, which is this high pressure fuel pump is actually leaking fuel into the engine. It's causing too much uh, problem because it gets uh, sucked by the PCV valve and re reinserted back into the engine. So that's giving more fuel into the engine that is not intended to, which throws a bank one too rich, too rich uh, problem. Uh, another thing that it does is it would have a rough idle when you just idle and you, you, you can feel your engine uh, uh, being rough. What else? What else have I seen problems? Uh, yeah, uh, pretty much that's that. Oh, and you can smell fuel inside your cabin sometimes. So anyway, this fuel pump is a major issue. They had a recall, but unfortunately my vehicle uh, was not it was out of range for that recall. I uh, called a couple of dealerships around here, and it was going to cost me over $2,000 to do the repairs. So I went ahead, got the parts, and did it. And I'm going to be showing you the video, so how to get it done. I looked around on YouTube, couldn't find any information on that. So these uh, uh, play, this playlist that would, that would be following this video would be, would be handy for you guys, I hope. Uh, I separated it into uh, small sections of video, so instead of having one long video, so you can see the steps of how to take each piece of, uh, piece of uh, uh, engine part, uh, or the covers, the wires and whatnot, take them apart and put them back together. Each step is broken down so that it's easier to follow. The tools that you will need for this are just basic hand tools, a 10 millimeter, a 17 millimeter, and a 21 millimeter uh, wrenches or sockets for these. Uh, and a fuel line quick disconnect, which will be uh, this tool right here. You will need a 3.8 size for that. And you will need the uh, the fuel pump of course uh, I got it off Amazon make sure you get the GM genuine parts they don't get no aftermarket uh, fuel pump because the, the, you, you want to go with the original OEM part it costs about 160 bucks off Amazon I put the link for it and you would also need to replace the high pressure fuel line which goes at the bottom of the fuel pump and with the GM OEM part, genuine parts on that one too. It costs about 40 bucks off Amazon. Alrighty, uh, now let's let's get to it. <laughs> 